What's going on guys, Shaq Reacts here once again, and today's some crazy clips of the worst couples I can find. And like always guys, my favorite clip will be at the end, but in this first one, it is pretty insane. This man found out his girlfriend has a ton of money. How much money is in your guys' bank account? I got like... Now, to be honest, this clip pretty much proves why men shouldn't care about how much a woman makes, simply because it will never benefit them. If a woman has a high-paying job, or even does OnlyFans and makes a ton of money, it literally means nothing to us, because at the end of the day, they're still going to want us to pay. The biggest red flag in a guy. When he goes out too much, especially in Miami, if he goes out too much, cut him off. You're here. Or a promoter, or a promoter. You're here. But I'm a female, I get it for free. If you're a guy and you're paying to go into a club, you're... Stop it. Yeah, talk about double standards, I guess. I'm not sure how she doesn't realize what she is saying is completely hypocritical. I'm not, be, I'm not trying to be rude, but sometimes, and women have admitted this, I've heard women admit this, yeah. You're having an argument with a woman, yeah, about an issue that's bothering you. That's something that she's done, yeah? So you're checking her for it, and then she starts crying. Yeah. I'll wait until you finish. The crying we'll continue. is, okay, you're crying, but you're still in the wrong. Yeah. I now have to comfort you crying. Possible. And I'm still angry. In Possibly, the words yeah. of PK Humble, it's a crocodilia. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> how are you going to stop praying? <laughs> but you're in the, like, it's, the, that, that is insane. Because imagine it was the other way around. Mm -hmm. You, okay, extreme condition, but I cheated. You've caught me cheating. And then I start crying. I saw you don't find that suspicious? This guy is 100% right, but the reason why a lot of women decide to do this is so they can avoid taking accountability. It's a manipulation tactic, and women do this a lot of times even when they know they are in the wrong. For example, here is a perfect clip of a woman who is doing it again. Um, I feel like I'm someone who has come from a relationship that was not so great. So what's that got to do with sleeping? Oh, with no, that. I'm not justifying <laughs> so it. I'm not justifying it at all. I, it sounds like you are. No, does he, does I'm not he, just. Yeah. No, it does, I'm not justifying like, it. Was gonna own yeah. it. But I can also say my piece. Okay, go on. I'm not justifying it, but can also oh, say okay, my piece. No one in here is perfect. Yes. I feel like probably 80 to 90 percent of people in this room have cheated. Okay. So it's not a place I've for anyone cheated. to judge me. No one's not judging you. Why are you giving all these disclaimers? Say, say why you did it. Why? Because at that time I was in a place where you was in a dark place. I was in I was in a very dark place. I feel That's like what they all say. No, no, honestly, <laughs> no, no, honestly, I was in a very dark place, and I feel like I. Don't, don't, I don't even want to get into oh. no, I don't want to get into I'm not sure if they purposely do this or it just comes up on accident, but it's still the same thing. It's a manipulation tactic. They want you to feel bad for them, saying, oh, it's okay. You're right, you didn't mean to do it. When, to be honest, if you ever see your girl crying when she's in the wrong, the worst thing you could possibly do is that. Let her feel her emotions out, let her cry, but always make sure she understands that she's still in the wrong. Don't approach me in a parking lot at night. Pull your window down. Pull your Why? For you? Who are you? Go away. Oh, my car needs a jump. My car's made out of bricks. There's no electricity running through it. Sorry, can't help. Leave me alone. Yeah, what I'm really wondering is who the hell is approaching this woman and why? Favorite place to travel to? Outside of the country. Outside the country? Yes. I'm going to Tokyo. Okay, that's Tomorrow. not in Asia. Different continent. What do you mean? Says, Different she continent. She outside the country. Now, you gotta love how confident she was when saying that, but it's kind of scary how people like this are allowed to vote. Got you. I respect my man. I don't do that because if I go out dressed a certain way, I know I'm looking for some kind of attention that I'm not looking for. I'm committed to him and only him. I don't do that. Now, see, guys, there's actually still a lot of queens out there. Sure, they may be hard to find, but it doesn't mean you guys got to give up. There are some women out there that still have common knowledge that realize showing off your body is essentially cheating.
Now, this is a pretty genius idea, I can't lie. Don't get me wrong, it definitely takes some kind of balls. But hey, if you're confident, I don't see anything wrong with this. Well, I'll put it to you like this. So long as divorce exists, marriage should never be a conversation, right? Because if you can willingly just decide one day you don't have to be in a marriage and you now want half of everything, well, that's just not a fair deal for any guy that I've ever met. A lot of guys are required to provide for women and give them the life that they wanted from the I want my special day right down to the moment they're cleaning out your bank account, moving all your life savings so that they have an exit strategy because you know I don't work, even though, of course, they choose to be a stay-at-home wife, right? But then, of course, they empty out all the bank accounts and all that other crap, take the nice cars, all that stuff. I mean, like, you operate from such a position of ignorance of not knowing what that's like. That experience of losing everything you've ever owned, ever worked for, all that. And it's marital property, so they can deplete you of everything. And then what are you going to do? What really are you going to do? You can't touch her. You can't do anything. Oh, but that won't stop her from saying that you touched her, though. Oh, she'll lie and get a restraining order put on you and all kinds of crap. It is a raw deal, dude. The best thing a man can do is not get involved with a woman in that way. If she loves you, then she'll understand that so long as a divorce exists, she has no business asking you for a marriage because you can't protect yourself. You just can't. And at the end of the day, it's just not worth it, especially if there are kids involved. Like, forget about it. This guy is 100% right, especially when it comes to the United States. What are the odds of even having a successful marriage? Like, 50%? Imagine signing away half of your things on a token flip. Would you ever take that chance? No, I don't think any smart man would. However, I'm not completely negating the fact of getting married. I understand some people want to do it for religious reasons. Or for the actual reasons to commemorate their love and, I guess, seal it away. If you want to do that, go for it. Do it without the government getting involved. But if you have the government in your life where you could potentially lose half of your things i think it's a huge mistake unless you're doing a prenup but let me know your thoughts about this clip down below guys okay who's gonna tell the guys that having a super loud car is not attractive or impressive it's actually kind of annoying who's gonna tell this girl that we don't do it for women we do it for ourselves and the boys come on now Please, please, please don't do this nonsense at the gym. You're there to work out, not film TikTok dance videos. And listen, I'm all for dance between sets or on the treadmill. Love to see people do it. I do it myself. But you don't do it standing directly next to somebody that's working out just so you can distract them to get a reaction so you can film it and post it on social media for likes and attention. Yeah, I said this last time in a previous video, I genuinely think we should bring shame culture back. If people do this, post it publicly, and think that they're not gonna get a negative reaction, they're completely foolish. We should start making a trend to actually criticize people like this and shame them publicly on the internet because this girl should definitely feel ashamed for what she is doing. Anyway, I, uh, I'm doing okay, but I wish I didn't have to go through this. <laughs> It's always my fault. But anyway, uh, I didn't know. Well, I guess I, I did know. But um, that I would have this really strong reaction physically, trauma reaction, to finding out that my estranged husband has been having a new relationship. Now, I'm not saying that he shouldn't. Um, we've been separated for a year, but we see each other a lot, and we spend time as a family together a lot. And I had asked him many times, are you seeing somebody? And he said, no, no, no. I kept saying no. And um, then he'd take me to dinner and we'd have a nice chat. And I have a boyfriend that I've been seeing. Um, so it's not like I, I think he shouldn't. Don't get me wrong. This isn't about that. But what happened was because he didn't tell me, um, I felt safe around him still, like in the way that he still loved me. And I think the hard part is that because I've been with him for so long, since I was 18, for him to be in a relationship where he is in one and you you can't figure it out in your mind these are completely crocodile tears i don't care what she is going through i don't care the emotion she has she is completely in the wrong here you have a boyfriend you have someone else you're talking to and you're just upset that your ex moved on finally because he doesn't love you anymore she literally explicitly said it she said she always thought he still loved her how is a man supposed to still love you when you're going on with another guy it seems like to me this guy actually finally understood his worth gave up on ever trying to get you back and went on to continue his life how do people post this kind of content and don't realize how stupid they sound yeah i 
generally just do not feel bad for her at all. People like this love taking advantage of men and are completely toxic. I wish the best for her ex. But let me know your thoughts about this clip down below, guys. And that does wrap it up for today. Guys, so much for watching. If you guys want more content just like this, please click links. You guys hit the top of the screen. And that's how much you know. Allah. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.